Baby formula shortage is putting mothers across the nation on edge. President Biden's Operation Fly formula has helped bring in formula from abroad, but it's not enough. This is why breast milk banks have become a critical source. Especially critical for babies in NICU intensive care units for newborns. Fortunately, there is a milk bank in Southern California. And is located in a hospital with the only NICU in the region. Fox 11's Christina Gonzalez takes us to the Antelope Valley Medical Center. Why are we awake? Oh, thank you. That smiley five-month-old we're all fawning over is Charlotte. Looking at her now, it's hard to believe she was born prematurely. Her first days were spent at the newborn intensive care unit in the Antelope Valley Medical Center where mom is a pediatrician at the Women's and Children's Pavilion. There is nothing more stressful than just having a baby in the NICU to start with um, and the stress of, you know, of not being able to produce breast milk on your own in those immediate first few days of life um, and having that option here is um, incredible. And life-saving for medically fragile babies who tend to tolerate human milk better, which decreases the chance of life-threatening infections. The hospital was designated a breast milk depot even before the formula shortage. In 2017, we partnered with Breastfeed LA and we became a uh, mother's milk bank collection site. We're actually only one of four uh, collection sites in LA County. So the top is mother's milk bank? In light of the formula shortage and everything that's going on, I mean, now more than ever, we are especially proud to be a milk depot here at Antelope Valley Medical Center. Last year, 84 gallons of donated breast milk was given to our um, premature infants. And many of those gallons came from donor Vanessa Apollo, who wears a necklace with the name of the daughter she lost at 22 weeks. Me donating was a way of keeping her memory alive. And I knew that doing it would help other babies and parents not have to experience the same heartache that I experienced to this day still. She has donated 161 bags of frozen breast milk. Could be your baby. Oh, wow. We don't know. That's one this was the first time she visited the milk storage at the hospital where she donates. Okay. I didn't know how it actually happened. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's how does cool. it feel to see where it goes? I mean, it feels good. But does she realize how much she and other breast milk donors have become heroes as shelves are still empty of formula, which is now being brought in by planes from abroad? I'm just a normal person, just one person doing what I thought was best in my daughter's honor. So for those who haven't learned to say it just yet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're expecting, um, please consider breastfeeding your baby. It's um, an amazing gift to give your baby, as well as if you are currently breastfeeding, to know that the option is out there to donate that breast milk and to help those babies in need. As the only newborn ICU in the region, this hospital serves over 400 premature and ill newborns a year. So there's a lot of need. If you want to find out more about donating breast milk, we've put the information on our website, foxla.com. In Lancaster, I'm Christina Gonzalez, Fox 11 News.